Uh, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. And I never bother to introduce to you where this photo in the background, this elaborate, delicate gown, um, probably made of silk, most likely made of silk, with a lot of decorations and uh, surface brocade. Um, it was a picture I was I took in Boston Museum of Art, or yeah, Museum of Art, um, which has a large connection collection of East Asian art artifacts. Um, and I I use that as a tribute to this ancient culture that I don't get to see much when I was growing up in China, ironically. Um, it's only later days when I explored other museums in other parts of the world that I get to see um, Chinese ancient pieces um, that left. So this program also as me as a tribute to my ancestral <laughs> language uh, that keep me hold on to my root, my culture. And so I hope you've been enjoying this journey. Um, okay, so today we talk about biao. Um, it means surface, but when we unpack it, it actually came from clothing, from fur coat. How does that work? Okay, uh, let me show you. You see this ancient writing because the contemporary simplified Chinese, you can hardly tell um, the origin, the stories behind it. I can kind of see, okay, there's something related to clothing, um, but it's not as visual as the original character uh, representation. So you can see original ones actually is made up of these two individual characters, clothing, and hair. So when you your it's a piece of clothing made with hair, which actually means animal first eh, <laughs> of it, then that is fur coat. Okay, and you can see the combination is very interesting. This fur or this hair is put inside, like in between, like a sandwich in between the neckline of the clothing. This is the ancient Chinese clothing neckline. Um, and the back, it looks like this. So let's go back to this tribute, this picture. You see the neckline kind of wrapped, um, uh, one side wrapped around. And as always, um, I shouldn't say always because there are different styles, but very commonly seen, uh, Chinese ancient gar garment neckline shaped in this way. Um, because when the garment made of 2D, fabric, right? It has to wrap form to your uh, 3D body shape. So this is one of the ways to closure the garment garment, and then tied along the way, right? So this is piece of garment and it's a visual representation of the garment that looks like this, right? And then the, the back, um, this is the back neckline of that. So the whole thing is capturing the front and back neckline of the ancient clothing. And that's visual, that's vivid. Like if you live in that culture, even if you are illiterate, by looking at the picture, you probably can guess it means clothing. Okay, and this hair is kind of vivid representation. I almost look like a hand, except the hand have this distinguisher, this, this indicator, the dot uh, slanted toward the right instead of left. When it's landed toward the left, it means it's a fur and it came in this, in this shape actually. And because this is a sandwich, so it was shortened vertically. There was this, you know, uh, this proportion adaptation toward this one frame when it's made up of two kind of <laughs> one sandwich, the other one. Um, so this is how it's made up of um, from the fur coat because fur, the hair, is textually um, distinguished from human skin, right? When we touch a fur, um, animal hair, it's, it's easy for us to, to sense it. And therefore that gives us a, this surface sense from the skin. And this eventually extended into the sense of surface because that's how we sense the surface by touching fur, you know, on a fur coat. So the surface then got God, this is superpower of, it became very relevant to contemporary living from the beginning of as just fur coat touching surface. 
it got extended into you see all of these many different applications of this like a revival or repurpose of the same character to suit in different situations and biao ge means table that we can we can understand it because surface means it's laying out for you to see right so if it's biao ge ge means grid so if it's a data layout for you to see in a grid form that's biao ge that's almost for chinese first time come across this this combination biao ge once somebody define it for you it's like ooh, you don't even make an effort to remember it it's that logical and also okay list so similar instead of in a tabular form it's a list look like this right and then meter meter means you're trying to read on the situation of something you're trying to monitor uh, data of something right and this meter whether it's a gas meter or electricity meter it's something for you to read the situation right and it's kind of like a surface, right? It kind of surface the situation of something. Normally you don't get to see, but only by through this device that you are able to track the numbers, how it goes. So that's surface and watch, yes. Watch is biao. And it's one of the things that in Chinese, we, well, definitely this, this watch thing came from the West, um, invented in the West and somebody have to come up match a Chinese character to it and the biao was picked and this biao uh, eventually when I use it I hardly think about it and now thinking about it this this surface um, just like it can be used as a monitor of something as a meter so biao is a monitor of time so in that sense we don't even need to specify it is for time to monitor time. We just eventually, because this has become so prevalent in our life, we uh, skip the you know the complexity of it just by be out itself. It means watch, okay, and surface is original meaning, right? And then we have example just like um, list or table. It's to surface something. So e example means what what you are visible what what are visible to you or sampling like a sampling from a, a ton of things and then pick up some examples so that becomes biao and then we have wai biao exterior not a way to say surface right and i have no idea what is rota and then external biao mian biao mian mian make it a surface <clears throat> even like face human face and make it biao surface face make it even more obvious that that means surface or exterior um okay and then we have biao da is interesting express that means chinese make this distinguishing distinguish of internal thought that means yi and then external words that's yan so between yi and the yan yan is kind of a surfacing your thought right so in that sense this biao can be just used apply to to check our own thoughts that's the meter to our thoughts so that becomes express and then show similar externalize something and makes what i have no idea what that is so some some weird use i guess but the essential thing the the core meaning of this biao came from the surface and then it becomes the act to surface something, act to monitor something, to then it becomes either a meter or a watch or even our expression express. So this became a super word, uh, very um, adaptable to contemporary living. But essentially, let's get back to it. it simply, wait, I had a misspelling there. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's surface, it's not succor, I don't know. Uh, okay, it's a uh, fur coat. Um, it came from fur coat. Okay, catching to the consumer thinking. Bye. One word a day. See you another day.